happy day and welcome to the Susu Sauce Homestead. Please like, subscribe, share, follow, all that fun stuff. You never know what you're going to find. There's a lot to see, a lot to laugh, and hopefully we're going to learn. Perhaps even change the world. Who knows? Or at least clean up the water a little. So here I am in our wastewater treatment plant at our very busy laundromat. And we've installed our plant filters. I'll give a little quick tour. Here's where the pit comes in. This is where the dirtiest uh, laundry water comes in. And then it goes through oh, a series of coconut husk filters and oil trapping uh, absorbent pads. Uh -oh. And then it goes out to tanks in the ground where it settles. What we wanted to do is put a, a living aspect, a living aspect to it. So, if you've been following us, here are our filters. We mounted them about 10, 11 feet in the air. Right now, the dirty water is going through it. Plants look great. I split the water return in half with this valve, and then that is dirty laundry water. You can see it's sudsing up. Then we put our second filter in as a redundancy. Up over there, but as you can see, there's the same two valves. One's dirty water and one's clean water. Plants look amazing, and this is just one day. I had to come in this morning because I had to set on a GHP outfit, and these were in the water. So when the thing shut off, it siphoned all the water out of there made the heater shut off or make an alarm but basically these two now if you've been following us half the laundry water goes in whenever the pump comes on half goes back to the uh, front uh, drain valves throughout the laundry mat here's where we control the water on how much goes into the tank and here's our recycling tank this just has bio balls and a pump in it and this water always stays running. So right now it's getting mixed with the laundry water. It's getting mixed in there. And here's the same thing. One's laundry water and one's return. Actually, you could see. Look how dirty that. You can see how it's more dirty like the water. And look how much clearer that one is. That's just going through the plant filters and circling through the plant filters, back down to the barrel, and then back through. And when the pump comes on, half the water from the laundromat comes in this other filter. And then it goes through, goes through the pipes before it goes back to all our carbon, almost 4,000 pounds of it, and then returns to our settling tanks. Some of the things I changed, I turned up the heater a little and I left the heater on 75 because that seems how it was working very good. I'm gonna stay here a little longer. Uh, if the water didn't siphon out, I could have showed you what it looked like, but it was crystal clear because it didn't pop off until about 2 a.m. So we're gonna to continue to run this and see how it works. We're entering our busy day, and then here, when the water's on, it returns through. That water is so much cleaner, and it's alive. It's alive with the soap digesting bacteria flowing through all the drain pipes, through the tanks, oxygenating, digesting soap, and then these guys are gonna take out any nitrogens, phosphates, they're an incredible plant. I once again recommend that you go to YouTube and search Walt Disney Water Hyacinth Disney World Wastewater Treatment Center that they did, it was incredible, incredible. And so is this, I had a whole room that had all these. Part of the problem was that in the winter time, it wasn't covered. So soap digesting, plants would die. Here, it's always going to be alive. Right now, I'm keeping the lights on 24 hours. And it's also heated to 75 degrees. Below about 60 degrees, uh, the soap digesting bacteria really doesn't work that good. It stays alive, but over 70 degrees, it cranks. You can see we got a few customers, but half of that water is the water from the return going back in, alive, circulating. 
We'll keep you posted. I'm going to be doing multiple updates throughout the next week, few weeks to show how it's working. And then we're going to build more, but a little smaller, and mount them behind the washers in the front and have a similar thing. Just a tank, two things behind the washers. They'll probably be not 24 inches, but probably more than around 20 inches, so they fit on the shelf. That was really heavy. Me and my friend almost, Ishmael almost broke our backs trying to put it in. And then we wound up putting these extra supports because we were concerned it wasn't going to be strong enough. But now, if you wanted to, you can hang. Oh, and this is a light we got from also from that uh, aquaponic restaurant. But this is a uh, AC Infinity light. We're going to be replacing them with AC Infinity lights because it is just so much stronger and a, uh, a better diode. I would imagine that after a while, hey, how come that's not focusing? Oh, there we go. I would imagine after a while, you're gonna see that the water hyacinths under there are gonna be much stronger than the water hyacinths under the light. But in the future, we'll place them with three of these and then we'll have 24 hour sun, 24 hour filtration, and it'll always be cycling through the pipes. And that's about it have a fantastic day.